What's going on, Bowie fam? Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to perform a transcervical insemination, a TCI, um, with the portable mobile unit. Stay tuned, you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. What's going on, Bully fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls, bringing you another episode of Breeders Hats. So today, I'm shooting a quick video, gonna show you guys how to use our mobile endoscopes. TCIs are awesome. It's short for transcervical insemination. All that it means, it's an insemination, just like an artificial insemination, but we have what's called an endoscope, or we have um, a camera affixed to our rod, so when we're going ahead and inseminating the dog, we can actually get a visual of where we're planting the semen. Ideally, when you're doing a transcervical insemination, you wanna make sure you're putting the semen inside the uterus. You're bypassing the cervix, and essentially putting it right close to almost where you would be doing a, a surgical, which is really cool. So we'll cover some of those things in a few, but I'm gonna just quickly show you the things that you guys need when you're doing a transcervical insemination, right? So you're gonna have your card with, and your TCI gun charged and ready to go. Another thing that you're gonna need is two syringes, right? Two syringes right here. Your three-way AI valve, one of your metal rods with a catheter, all right? So you're gonna wanna take your TCI gun, then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and take your catheter and take your metal rod that comes with it and stick it all the way into your catheter, right? You wanna have this prepped and ready to go. It's already in. So I'm gonna take my three-way AI valve out and just load up my syringes on each one. So as you can see, that's the first one. The second one, I actually fill it with air so it's ready. Filled it up with the 10 cc's. I probably won't use the full 10 cc's, but we have it accessible and ready. And then we have our cap on here, right? So when we are ready, what I'm gonna do is I'll take this off, this metal rod will come out and we can twist it on. For now, I'm gonna leave it on. You're gonna wanna have some lubricant. So now let's get started. Once the semen is out, you're gonna wanna start working quickly. We've already done a semen evaluation on this, so we know that the semen is good. Um, we've already done our progesterone numbers, so we know that she's ready to go. Um, those are things you do wanna be mindful of. So now we're taking our AI rod and filling up this syringe. And as you can see, it's completely filled now with our sample. So next, you wanna take your collection and affix it to the three-way AI valve, right? Twist that on. And then the key thing is actually, you wanna make sure, you wanna kinda of get the air out of it, but the real key thing is once you put that on, twist it so that the valve, um, none of the semen can go into any other space and stay within here. So the way this is shut off right now, there's no flow that could come in and out of this. So it's gonna stay just in this collection right here. We're gonna put this down, and now we wanna start working relatively quicker. Our unit on. You're gonna go ahead and take some lube. And the key thing when putting the lube on is you want to just put it like on the stem of the unit but you really don't want to put it towards like you don't want to put too much actually in the front because then your camera won't be able to see anything so what i do is just run it along the sides and i'll hit the very end of it but i won't put any on the inside because that's where your camera is so this is all this is all about that you need just a light coating and then now you have enough on your finger to go into the female so i'm going to show you guys what i'm talking about right so you want to hold her and now, since I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the record button. Finger like this and go up and over, and I'm gonna just use the endoscope to follow. So as you can see, you're gonna keep following through, just follow that channel. And once you get to what looks like a, a, a roof of a mouth, and let's see if I could show you what that looks like. And I'm gonna show you exactly what you're looking for, right? So what this does is there's a little button on, on the gun itself that allows you to push for air when you're going through like tight spaces. But as you can see, just follow through, right? Follow through, you're gonna keep going, right? So right here, once you get to what looks like the, uh, the opening of a mouth, like the uh, gummy and wavy like a mouth, that's the cervix. So we want to inseminate the semen right past that. that you wanna put the semen past the cervix 
um, right into the uterus. So as you can see, that's basically where we got to. So all you're gonna do is follow through. You're gonna follow through. I um, mean, you can visually see just like you're doing an AI. And once you follow through and once you've hit the cervix, you're going to want to go a little bit as far as you can, a little bit past that. We're gonna go ahead and we wanna put the semen right into the uterus. So we're bypassing the cervix, opening and right into the uterus. So that's where we're at right now. So what we're gonna quickly go ahead and do is we're gonna stick our catheter through and you wanna give yourself a little bit of space so you can kinda of see. Let's see. Right there. See, and we're sticking it right through into the uterus, right there, All right? And once we're in the uterus, what we're gonna wanna go ahead and do now is pull out our rod. Once we've pulled out the rod, I'm sorry about that. Once we pulled out the rod, you're gonna go ahead and we're gonna attach, we're gonna fix our three-way AI valve. So one key thing when doing this is you definitely wanna make sure the dog is kind of held, restrained, you know, from um, moving too much. But once we're in that uterus, what I can do now is set it, turn the three-way AI valve to put the semen in. We're gonna go ahead and load the semen in, right? There we go. And you're gonna slowly wanna pull back as well on the endoscope so you can see you're filling it up, you're filling it up. Then you're gonna turn around and we're gonna, as we pull out, push some air through, completely clean out the line, slowly pull out, and there we go. And I'll just put my finger to plug it in, and that's pretty much it. We can stop recording, we'll put our TCI gun down, and that's pretty much it. We'll hold her up for a little bit, and we're just gonna keep her there. I'm gonna attach, you know, tickle her sides so that she contracts the semen, pulls it further in, you know. Um, but essentially, when you're doing a TCI, you wanna make sure that you're putting the semen into the uterus. That's the key thing. Otherwise, you're not, um, what winds up happening is you're really just doing a glorified AI. That's really what it is. So the key thing is placement. So, um, like I said, I'm gonna have a video that comes with our TCI guns that kind of goes a little bit more into detail but essentially that's all you're doing. And that's essentially similar to a surgical. They're putting it in the uterine horns, which is slightly a little bit further up, but in my opinion, not by a whole lot. And this is less invasive. You're not putting the dog to sleep. You're not doing anesthesia, none of that. Um, and you get also a visual to make sure that the female is healthy. And if there's any abnormalities while you're doing your TCI, you can visually see. Just like last time I looked, I saw there was a little bit of blood. I was like, hey, hey let's, let's try to check and see if she's pulling. I have a vet, I'll give you guys a quick story. Like I have a vet that whenever we go to do any kind of breedings, they always do a visual. They look inside the uterus, they look inside to make sure that everything looks sound. So this is nice because you'll be able to look as you're doing your TCI. Um, like I said, if there's any abnormalities. So he's just gonna hold her real quick while he's doing that. Is, um, you know, I love this book, um, Small Animal Endocrinology and Reproduction. And I'm just gonna even show you guys just cause I wanted to make sure that I didn't forget some things when I talk about TCIs, right? So some of the things to be mindful of is like the advantage, advantages is it talks about the same exact thing. It talks about, you know, tranquilizer. Uh, instead of having to use tranquilization and anesthesia for a surgical, I mean, a TCI achieves the same location of semen depositation as does a surgical procedure and can be done easily within five minutes. As well as it talks about, you wanna use a semen extender or a semen enhancer like the Hoke that we use. Containing an antibiotic is recommended due to the placement directly into the uterus, therefore bypassing the natural barrier, which is the cervix, which is what we're passing. So that's just some things to be mindful of guys. Is like when you're doing a TCI, if someone doesn't know what they're doing and the easiest thing quickly to do is just ask them, hey, when you're doing a TCI, where are you depositing the semen? Are you bypassing the cervix? So on and so forth. If you do those things, um, if the person is doing those things, then they're doing a true TCI. But if they're just saying, hey, we just dumped it, we throw the female, or we throw the semen in her or whatever the case may be, then they're really just doing a glorified AI. So that's the key thing to be mindful of is when you're doing a TCI, that the person needs to know and understand that you're bypassing the cervix and putting it into the uterus. That's the key thing. Um, and like I said, it's similar to a surgical because it's going directly into the uterus. So um, I hope this information was helpful. I hope it was useful. 
um, when doing your TCIs, don't forget, add a, like what we use is like the Hulk extender, you know, add an extender, add an enhancer, um, since you are depositing it right into the uterus because those already have um, an antibiotic in it and you've seen it, I'm quoting it directly from the book. So he's just gonna hold her for like another five minutes and we should be good to go. So now I can take my TCI gun since we're done and I can actually turn it off. I can take out its contents, right? We can discard everything other than our metal rod. We'll keep this for later. Um, I'll sanitize this with chlorhexidine. And actually, we have our SD card I could put in the computer and I could give him his footage, his data to send to his stud owner. And um, just keeping it as professional as possible. I see so many people doing surgicals when if they had the knowledge when it comes to these TCIs, um, they wouldn't have to put their dogs under anesthesia and risk, uh, risk a lot. If you want a little bit more in-depth learning and some more visuals, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna have a, a instructional video that comes with our unit, a free training. So anyway, guys, hope this information is helpful. Hope it was useful. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Breeders Hacks.